What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ed, Everyday Muscle. Just wanted to talk to you about counting macros. It's been a week. Happy Monday. For all of you that have been following along, started counting macros. Why? Because I want to be ripped and healthy. You can be ripped, but not healthy. You can be healthy, but not ripped. But I choose to do both. And in order to do that, I need to tally what's going into my body and make sure that it's suiting my fitness goals. So it's been a week so far, and one thing I can tell you, and it's not a real secret, counting macros is a little tedious. Trust me, it is. You'll be really hungry and you wanna log stuff, or you wanna eat, and then you gotta log it first. Or what I do is I just try to eat the same thing. You know, saves the time, but it is a little annoying, but it's for the, the greater good. Obviously, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. But to have a new level of myself requires me to do things I didn't do before. So what I've been noticing is by logging my food, I can take into account what I've been eating and make substitutions. Cup of rice. This is a cup. Cup of rice. Not that big. You can see. Cup of rice has about 55 grams of carbs, something like that. A cup of white rice. Obviously, I know when I eat, I probably eat like three or four of those in a sitting. My goal is to have uh, less than 285 grams of carbs, so I substitute it. I can eat probably three, four times as many potatoes and take in less carbs. So it's all about adapting and substituting. If you can substitute, you're going to make some changes, some real changes. Uh, also for like pastas and stuff, I get like lentil based pasta. Tastes a little bit different, it's negligible, but you're gonna put spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce, whatever you wanna call it on top of it, which is gonna kinda negate that. So I would give something like that a try. Less carbs, more protein. You up the intake of what you need, you bring down the intake of what you don't, and you log it. I mean, if you prepare your foods in advance, logging is not a problem because you prepare it, then you log it, and then you eat it. But if you're like me and you're waiting till the last minute to log it while you're trying to eat, that's when you run into that problem. But just to keep it simple, it doesn't have to be hard. Logging, yes, it is tedious, but each new version of you requires you to do something different. So I'm going to make a video of how I actually log it or how I go through it and just like a sample meal and then I'll post it. It shouldn't take too long, I'll probably do it as a short, but I just wanted to update you guys. Everything's going well, I'm on track. I lost a little over a pound. That's what I wanted to do, lose about a pound a week of fat. Still keeping on my gym flow. Actually gonna do my gym flow right after this. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.